The Autodesk Mold Flow Advisor Design plugin for Pro Engineer is unlike any simulation tool you've seen before. Without ever having to set up a single analysis, the plugin provides the critical results you need to make good decisions about the design while you're designing the part. The first thing you'll notice is this new technology is directly embedded inside Pro Engineer. The non-intrusive icons in the viewer give you easy to interpret information about the manufacturability, cost, and environmental impact of your design. We'll start by pulling up the fill preview. This shows an animation of how the plastic is going to flow through the part so you can ensure it will fill completely and evenly. The amazing thing, however, is that the fill preview updates after every design change you make. Even when adding a complex feature to the part, the filling pattern updates instantaneously, giving you the ability to evaluate the impact of every decision you make as you make it. Now let's take a look at a more complex part to show the rest of the questions the Advisor Design plugin can help you answer. The first indicator is all about manufacturability, helping you answer the basic question of, can this part be molded? If the plugin detects a potential manufacturing issue, it lowers the manufacturability rating and displays an alert for the design rule being violated. In this instance, the wall thickness of the part has a lot of variation. By clicking on the alert, it brings up the diagnostic result showing where the high variation exists. Alternatively, you can also bring up the wall thickness result that shows exactly what the thickness of the part is at every location. The next result is for undercuts. This result identifies areas of the part that will be difficult to eject without complex tooling. Again, all you need to do is click the alert and it brings up the diagnostic showing everywhere there's an undercut feature on the part. The next result for manufacturability checks draft angles. While most design tools already have this ability, the Advisor Design plugin will let you know if you forget to add draft to a surface while you're designing that area of the part, rather than waiting till the end which may cause rebuild problems later on. Next up is weld lines. The result is calculated from the real-time filling analysis that you saw earlier, so with this alert you have the option to pull up the animation and injection location toolbars. You can adjust the number and locations of the gates to ensure weld lines form in areas of the part where they will not cause visual or mechanical failures. Also thanks to the fill preview, sink marks are predicted. These are visible in two ways, by simply opening the sink mark plot or by using the finished part preview. The finished part preview shows a more realistic representation of how the part will look once it's molded, and that includes sink marks and weld lines. And the last result for manufacturability is injection pressure. And just like before, you can move the injection location around to test different scenarios to see the effects that that has on how much pressure will be required to fill the part. Now the next indicator is for cost, and here we have three different factors. Mold cost is influenced by the overall size of the part as well as complexity. For example, the more undercut features that are detected, the higher the cost will be. Material cost is a relative indicator based on the material chosen for the part. Now lastly, there's production cost, and this is based completely on cycle time. The biggest factor here is cooling, so things like making the part thinner or anything else that will help to reduce the cycle time will also help to reduce your production cost. Now the final indicator is plastic material impact, which has four factors. Carbon footprint calculates how many kilograms of CO2 are produced when making the necessary amount of raw material for the part. For example, if the material is changed from ABS to polycarbonate, the amount of carbon produced per part more than doubles. Embodied energy is the next result, and this calculates the amount of energy required to manufacture the part, which again is mostly impacted by the selected material. Recyclability shows a relative indication of how well the plastic can be reprocessed into useful products. Something like polyethylene terephthalate used in soda bottles will fare better here than glass-filled nylon. And finally, embodied energy calculates how much water is going to be required to manufacture the part, mostly due to raw material production. The Advisor Design plugin for Pro Engineer changes the way simulation gets used. By putting simulation under the hood of your design software, it can now be an integrated concurrent part of your design processes. And again, this tool is available to any Pro Engineer user who's on active subscription for Autodesk Moldflow Advisor Design 2012.